Hi folks, back again. This is Bathrobe Chronicles number 31. And <laughs> this is kind of an interesting one. Uh, let's just say years ago in another lifetime in another business, uh, I started this job. Let's just say. Let's go back many, 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 many years. And of course, as with a lot of jobs where you know, there you know, there are 40, 50, 60 people, 100 people, 200 people, whatever. There are different divisions or sections, you know, in this business. And, of course, they all, uh, I, I would hope, are all working toward this common goal, whatever that goal may be. Anyway, I was a new employee at this place. And there was a fellow from another division who I happened to meet, you know, just briefly. And... Uh, Seemed like a heck of a nice guy. So anyway, and I'd only been at this business for a couple of weeks. <clears throat> I had to get something from upstairs. I went upstairs, walking down the hallway, getting whatever it was I was getting, and, and this fellow's door was open. So, hey, how you doing? And, hey, how you doing? So, you know, I went in to say hi. I'm the new guy, and he, you know, a seemingly nice fellow. So I went and we started talking. Now, the next thing I know, keeping in mind I had no idea what this so-called alternative complimentary horseshit was at that time. This goes back quite a while. I mean, I'm just like a regular guy, whatever that means. The next thing I know, he's talking something about electricity running up and down you or something and the only thing I I know or knew at the time was I didn't know what the hell he was talking about and it sounded too damn weird for me so I sort of got out of there you know I sort of hmm, hey gosh I'll see you later I have something to do whatever and I got out of there now subsequently he and I would see each other from time to time because, as I said, even though he was in a different division or section or whatever you want to call it than I, you know, he, you know, we were all in this big business, and, of course, occasionally we would see each other. Anyway, several years later, honest folks, Boy Scout, mm, was I a Boy Scout? I could have been. Was he either a Boy Scout or a Cub Scout? Or I was a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout. I don't remember, but anyway... Whatever, Boy Scout, Cub Scout honor. Here's what happened. We're standing outside one day talking. This is several years after this initial, you know, get together, you know, with the electricity and all that kind of stuff. So we're standing outside talking. Excuse me. And he said, uh, I don't even know how to approach this because I know you think I'm a whack job, which I may well be. But what I'm telling you is pretty darn accurate. And uh, do you guys know Richard Bach? He wrote Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I really like that book. Now, Richard Bach's kind of a whack job, too. He's written a bunch of books. I ended up with two of the same title. I don't remember the title. And I remember I gave this fellow one of these books because, you know, he was sort of whacked out anyway. So we're standing outside one day talking, and he said, gosh, I really appreciated the book, and whatever. Then he, he said to me, he said, you know, one day I looked up in the sky, and I saw these clouds everywhere. And I wanted to knock a cloud out of the sky. Honest engine, you know, this is like Boy Scout, or Cub Scout, whatever. I said, oh. He said, yeah, so... I picked a small cloud, this is what he's saying, I picked a small cloud, and I knocked that baby out of the air. I was sitting there thinking, mm-hmm, okay. And then he said, and I picked a bigger cloud, and I knocked that out of the air. I mean, what am I going to do, like, <clears throat> run away, shoot the guy, or what? So I'm standing there saying, oh, okay. He said, honest, he said, then I decided I was going to darken the whole sky. I said, oh. And he said, I did. I said, oh, okay. And he said he darkened the whole sky. In other words, 
he was there like during uh, daylight hours. You know, the sun was out, whatever. And he darkened the whole sky by this magic mess that he did. <sighs> anyway, that's sort of the end of the story. And um, I didn't confront him, you know, with all the obvious kinds of things. Oh, gosh. During the day, with the sun out and everything else, and you darken the whole sky, and it never made the newspapers or TV. But anyway. This is the same fellow who told one of my buddies, a co-worker, that he did psychic surgery on his mom. Uh, looking back, I think he was one of those uh, Reiki folks and that uh, energy bullshit and so forth and so on. But folks, this actually happened. And that's sort of the way it is. And as Pat Condell would say, peace. Thank <laughs> you.